Let's look at a typical um, bearings exam question. The bearing of an aeroplane from an airport runway is 210 degrees. What is the bearing of the runway from the aeroplane? So I want to use the first sentence to draw a sketch. Um, it's the bearing of an aeroplane from an airport runway. So from's where I'm starting. So I'm going to mark that with an X to say that's where my runway is. I'm going to mark in north straight up. There's my north. Now, I, w I know that the bearing of the aeroplane is 210 degrees. So if the aeroplane was north, it would be zero. If it was over at east, it'd be 90 degrees. 180 degrees, 270 degrees. So it's going to be somewhere between 90, um, 180 and 270. So it's going to be somewhere over here. So that's where my aeroplane is going to be. Okay. So I have an idea of what my diagram should look like. If we're allowed to get, if we're allowed to draw this accurately, if that's what we're asked to do, we could do just that. So we would draw, or we would mark on our runway again, we get our ruler, mark on north, straight up our page, and we get our protractor and we want to measure 210 degrees. If you have a semicircular protractor, um, it's going to be a problem because you're not going to be able to get to 210. So we need to use the fact that south is 180. And to get to 210, well, we need to add on 30 degrees. So I get my protractor. I would get my protractor and I would put it this way. I would measure 30 degrees here. Okay. Now we're not told what distance it is, so it doesn't matter where we mark it, but our plane would be somewhere along that line. So there I have my airport runway, and here I have my aeroplane. And I want to, now I can answer the question, what is the bearing of the runway from the aeroplane? So I'm starting at north, I'm facing north and I'm turning toward the airport. So that's the angle I'm going to measure there. So I get my protractor, I make sure zero is pointing north, and I measure this angle up here. Okay, and if we measure that accurately, it would be 30 degrees. So that's what, how we would do it if we were allowed to draw it. But in some of these questions, we're asked to calculate the bearing. We're not allowed to use our um, protractor. So we need to use a sketch like this one, like the one we already had. I'm going to draw one again. So we've got our air, airport runway. We have our aeroplane. And they're joined, something like that. And they're both marked north. We know that that is 210 degrees. And um, we're trying to work out that. Now we know what that is. We've measured it up here. But we're trying to see how we do it if we didn't know already. Well, north is marked in both of these diagrams. North and north are always going to be parallel to each other. So we're going to be able to use some of our angle rules to be able to find out the answer to this question. So if this is 210 all the way around. We know that that much is 180. So this angle here is going to be 30 degrees. So we've got two parallel lines. We've got this angle and we want this angle. Well, those two, those two angles are alternate angles, which means if that's 30 degrees, then that's 30 degrees. So our bearing is 30 degrees, but I've made a mistake in both of these. In both of these answers, I haven't quoted three figures. So I need to answer my question, what is the bearing of the runway from the aeroplane? The answer is going to be 0, 3, 0 degrees. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so 
Ethicus Full. Brilliant, spot on, well done.